walking on fire Trying not to bend my fate I'm tired of fighting Saying things we don't mean oh. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel I know it's been quite a few months since I last did a video and the comments and views on my last videos have been amazing I didn't think one of my videos would get as many views as it did and it has and I love it so I figured while I'm at university you guys might want some more videos and I was struggling for a while to do this video just because of my uni schedule I haven't really had time with work and just everything but since it's a Saturday I figured why not do it it is currently open day so you might hear quite a lot of talking and see people at my window um, but hopefully it won't be that loud so I figured for my first uni video I would take you around a room tour since it's the best one and then if you guys like this I can do some more uni videos maybe a day in my life and all that studying stuff with my ipad and all that um so let's get into this video so we're currently in the hallway everyone else is flat the roommates so this is obviously my door so i'm 201 and then this is like my little um whiteboard type thing where i just have a saying from the grinch and then two quotes from jamie the musical and then say in my room we all kind of wrote on ours they've got written on theirs uh no one's is on there because no one lives in there and then we just have our old roommates still on there but this is obviously ours it's quite a nice corridor our kitchens we obviously have my room and then in there is like our little laundry room uh and then to get into our room we have our little keyboards which most of the time we don't actually use because we keep it on double lock which i probably will put on in a minute and then as you enter my room we have my door which at the minute has my coat and just a little bag on the back and then this post-it note saying don't forget my room key or lock my door because let's just face it we've all been locked out of our rooms so that's just kind of my door and then as we come in we have my ensuite which at the minute has an over the door hook. Definitely recommend getting over the door hook. Um, if you have an ensuite, if you don't, don't just because you can't put it on this door, mainly because of that. And it won't shut your door properly. So because I have an ensuite, that's kind of why I did it. So it, at the minute it just has all of my sort of jackets, my scarves and my bag, which just sort of gets things out of the way. So, that sort of does that. And then as we come into my ensuite, kind of have to get the light on. What's up, guys? Uh, so obviously we have my big mirror. Some people have like an extra light up there, but we don't actually have that, to be honest. Um, we just have this really massive light, which turns off every now and then. So just make sure that if it does go off, you just kind of got to wave your hand around. At the minute it hasn't gone off when I'm in the shower, so that's the good thing. So in my bathroom, I have my little speaker, which I brought with me. I definitely recommend getting a speaker just because it makes your shower experience so much better. Um, but this one I just got for probably five pounds from Home Bargains and it all works. Then I have this, which I got from Amazon, which kind of keeps all my earbuds. It keeps my necklaces and rings when I have a shower. My toothpaste is connected, so I put like my toothbrush in there and then get my toothpaste out. And then in here just has my night cream and then the travel bags that I put my toothbrush in that in to come here. And then you get these two little cups. They're just sort of magnetically clicking and it looks really great as well. So you won't ever get one of these unless you buy one off Amazon. <laughs> Then I just have my hand wash, which is milk and honey, which I got from Morrison's. My dry shampoo, which usually doesn't live in here. It actually lives in my box that's in my room, but it's in here at the minute. Then I just have my three-in-one hair mask, 
which is papaya. And uh, this has been a lifesaver for my hair just because my hair is extremely damaged from being blonde. So I tend to use that maybe once a week or once a month whenever my hair feels really damaged. That's sort of when I used it and it has actually made my hair feel so much better. Highly recommend you get it. They're on Amazon. You can get four different ones for different style hairs. I got that because it was for damaged hair, so. And then we obviously have my toilet, which at the minute just has sort of my moisturizers in there for a shower, my shavers and my hairbrush because I can't leave it in here to do my hair. And then just your little towels, which I leave on there. And you obviously have your toilet. So, and then underneath, we have my bleaches and just spray. Uh, I won that from Freshers Fair, so that's an extra toilet roll. My extra loafers, my other shampoos and shower gels and an extra uh, soap dispenser because I bought one with me because I wasn't sure. And then I bought my own plunger because I wasn't sure. And then toilet roll, hygiene bin and my own bin, which I bought that because I wasn't sure if we had a bin in our room. But we did, so I bought that for the bathroom. And then just my hair towel. And then we have my shower, which is very small, but it does for one person. I was very worried about having a white uh, shower curtain just because the shampoo I used when I first came here is purple. And I was really worried that it was gonna stain it, but luckily it hasn't, which is good. And then in my shower, we have my shower caddy, which I bought off of Amazon. I definitely recommend getting one of these. I think everyone in my flat has one of these. They are so helpful when you're in the shower, just having things in here. So I keep my shower gel, my shampoo, my conditioner all in here. Uh, just It saves space and it's easier to get rather than reaching out. My loafer, which is on the little stand that you actually get. And then I bought this off of Amazon, which is just a phone holder. So your phone just sits in there and then you can use it while you're in the shower. And I mainly do that if I'm skipping music or if I'm watching YouTube videos and it's connected to my speaker. So that's sort of that. And then you obviously have toilet holder and then our towel rail, which is actually on at the minute. So I'm just gonna turn that off because otherwise it's getting very hot in here. So I just at the minute have my towels. And sometimes if my clothes can't go in the tumble dryer, I leave them on here just so that they can cool down. And then as we come out of my ensuite, we have all of my shoes in a line, as well as my skates and my laundry bag. Definitely get a laundry bag. Lots of people just have a bag that says laundry. I got one that has color light and dark just because it was so much easier just to get that and it was only off of Amazon. So I thought, why not? And then my wall is at the minute a crime scene because we're working out crime as a flat. So I currently have like crime on both of my walls. So yeah, that's great. And then we have my chair, which I have two of these. This one just has a throw on it just because it made it look prettier. So you do get two chairs in Barbara Smith Halls, which is where I currently am. So yeah, and then you get that's just my hockey jersey. And then I just got water bottles and some pens on that. And then we have my lovely desk of drawers. Got my laptop case down there. My record player, my vinyl kit, which is just has a bunch of vinyls in for my record player. And then this has my notebooks and some of my theory, but my media theory books, as well as my notebook to take notes. And then I just have my maintenance log. And then my my Harry Potter weekly channel, which at the minute has nothing because it's boring and we're not really doing much because it's exam season. So then my Bluetooth keyboard, which I just leave on here until I'm ready to use it for my iPad and my phone and my laptop. Um, and then we come to my bookshelf, which looks very cluttered at the minute just because I'm rearranging a lot of stuff and I've moved a lot of stuff around. So at the top, I just have my folder and my notebooks, a first aid kit, definitely get a first aid kit, they are a lifesaver. My curlers, some medication, bottle of ketchup, because all of us have sort of bought our own sources with us and we just kind of leave them in our room. Copy of paper for my printer, 
Uh, Uno, because we all play games in this flat. So I've probably got the most games in my room. And then my middle drawer, this is just uh, something I got from Home Bargains. I have a second one in the kitchen, which actually says kitchen, and it has all my cutlery in. But this one has all my scrunchies, makeup remover, my dry shampoo usually, hairspray, my comb, uh, this, which is a nightcap scrunchie. So it's a scrunchie, but it also has this kind of little holder here, which actually has a like cover for your drink because of all the spikings. Uh, this was actually a gift from one of my roommates. A friend made it. So we have a nightcap for our drinks, false eyelashes and all of that. And then just my clips, um, my makeup brush cleaner, some spray, my study planner, which I use daily. That is a lifesaver. Then we have my hair dryer slash straightener. And then the University of Chichester, which is where I'm at. Give us our little water bottle. Haven't actually used that yet, um, but it's very cute and I love it. And I need to get a University of Chichester jumper soon. So I'm definitely going to get that. And then my bottom shelf just has Midnight Sun, which is Twilight book, uh, some murder books and some word searches, all of my DVDs and my Xbox games, uh, my tea and hot chocolate. I actually bought these from Home Bargains as well. They've been a lifesaver. We're just holding all of the stuff I need. So it just has tea and hot chocolate in a minute. Then my mic, which is usually in my camera bag, some sprays and some more sort of little games. And then I have mini marshmallows and chocolate up there. And then at the minute, I've just got YouTube on. So we have my Xbox and my TV. And then there's hot chocolate in there, which I still need to drink. And then we come to my desk, which has my laptop on a laptop stand, my tablet, which I got as a gift for going to uni, and then my iPad, which I bought before, and then the laptop, the iPad stand, which was also a gift. And then the windowsill, we have my makeup, and my makeup brush is back there. And just a little LED mirror. Hi, guys. And then just some cleaner and this cute little plant pot, which we got at the sort of green week sort of fest that kind of went on at the campuses. And then I have my pen holders, my post-it notes. I also have my blue light glasses, memo notes, and like, uh, I don't know, a mixture of rubber bands, pins, clips, etc. So that's just kind of what's in there. And then I obviously have my printer which has my LED clock, my humidifier. I highly recommend getting a humidifier just because you can't have candles in the dorms. And this humidifier has actually saved my dorm from smelling awful. Um, it's dead at the minute, so it probably won't spray anything. It'll spray a tiny bit. It's running out of fragrance. That's kind of why I need to get another fragrance to put in it. So that's just kind of there. And then I've got just my beautiful Christmas tree because it's Christmas. And then I just have a Yule log and a mince pie because it's Christmas week at the uni. So our canteen is doing Christmas stuff. And then my Christmas tree and my tinsel around my beautiful wardrobe. So I feel Christmassy, my suitcase. And then this my mum actually gave me before I came here just as an extra little hanger. So I just kind of put my university and my work sort of hanging on there and then we have my wardrobe which has a mirror and then i'm rocking the jls top the fluffy sliders and joggers just because you know why not hey guys and then we just have a wardrobe so that just has all my christmas stuff some bags my duffel bag for when i go home and some high heels you get four hangers when you come here so I definitely recommend getting your own hangers. I got these off of Amazon because I saw it in a TikTok once and these have been a lifesaver. I've only used two at the minute just because I don't have enough hangers. So I still have eight more of these left in my little side cabinet. But at the minute, these have actually saved me so much space um, with all my dresses and some of my shirts. So I definitely recommend getting something like this just because 
you need a lot of space and you don't get very many hangers. So that's sort of like your best idea is to get extra hangers. So we're just going to shut that. And my tinsel has now got caught. And then we have the rest of my crime going on on my wall. And then we have my ottoman, which has bedding in uh, and some jumpers. Uh, Cluedo, because why not? All my bags are like shoved down there. It looks great. My camera bag and my tripod, which kind of sits up there. My chocolates and this really cute digging box, which the university gave us. I'm just going to push that off. Uh -huh. University gave us this on like our first two weeks. So it's really cute. It's got like an energy drink. Um, I had a Pepsi Max, but we drank that. Uh, some links after shave, some cider, some Reese's, Mentos, extras, and these cute little things to stick on your wall, but I don't actually think we're allowed to use them because you can't really stick stuff on your wall. And now I can't close this box, so we're just going to go like that. Then we have my side desk, which you get a little lamp. And then I obviously have my little phone charger. And I've got kitchen roll, my little crime book, uh, just some drink and my tissues. And then in here, we just kind of have a bunch of crap. It's got my fanny pack. So um, I definitely recommend getting a fanny pack just because when you're out uh, going to clubs, you don't really want to spend time with a bag. And the fanny pack is just so much easier. Oh, my laundry's done. I better go get that in a minute. Uh, some batteries, get a lot of batteries, you're going to need them. Phone chargers and NHS form to prove that I'm double jabbed. Passport for a license and all that. Some more bin bags for my bin. And then in here, we have all of my laundry essentials. These laundry capsules, which I highly recommend you get just because you can't put any like powder in that in. So you need like capsules or something so I just have lavender and chamomile and then we have my pegs the other sort of hangers that I have in my wardrobe a dustpan and brush and in here was just a gift bag for my parents which had some presents in and they also decided to give me my four bottles of gin which I got for my 18th that I never actually drank so they gave me my gin to have at uni but haven't actually drunk that yet and then I just have some of my towels in there and I'm dropping pegs everywhere, oh, which don't actually want to go in. So that just kind of lives in there. And then I've got some chocolates in there for my aunties. Then we have my bed, which has a teddy fleece duvet on at the minute because it gets quite cold at night if I don't put the heating on. Another throw, which is super soft, my PJs. And then we have Stitch which I felt like bringing him with me because why not? And then this is really cute. This is a builder bear that my best friend made. So hers is dressed up in safari because she's studying zoology in Wales. So it has a beating heart in it and a sound in the hand. So hers is dressed up like that. And then I have this, she has the same bear dressed up in Harry Potter for me at her uni. So we have each other with us. And then I just have some cushions, friends, Harry Potter, and just a fluffy cushion. And then my pillows, I highly recommend you bring a lot of cushions and pillows because you only get two pillows and that's not enough to sleep on. So my parents bought me some more cushions and pillows down just because it was so much easier. And then we have my pin board, which has these sort of LED light pegs, which my cousin bought for me. So I just have these cute little Polaroid pictures which I got off of free prints so of all my family and my friends just so I have them with me and then each of these are like little cards from my family and my friends and my best friend's family and then I have this really cute dreams thing that my parents gave me and my best friend in Wales also has the same one and then that's just a uh like advisory for my room so you get inspected so I just kind of have that and then I kind of wrote my pin board that it was my room. So that's basically my whole room tour. It's not very big, but it does for being first year. If you guys want some more of these videos, I will happily do some more. I've got so a few in mind that I think I might want to do. So they'll be out in a few days. Um, I'm com 
currently doing this on my day off just because it's exam season so I get more days off because I'm doing a lot of stuff in my room for self-study and all that but I will have time to make these videos and hopefully I'll make some videos when I go home for Christmas because I'm going home in a few weeks so I'll definitely make some more videos for you guys as I spend my first year in uni and if you have any video ideas that you want me to do or if you're going uni and you want to know some things I will happily make a video for you. So I think I'm going to end that there just because my laundry is done and I better go get my laundry before the group chat starts going off about laundry being done. But that's pretty much it for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. See you guys soon. Bye guys. Bye.